Welcome to Data Doctor's video, Suggestion 571, Find a Grave, Link Without Grave ID. Suggestion 571 is caused when Find a Grave is used as a reference, but no memorial link was given, or the link was entered in a non-standard way, so that the computer couldn't read it. Here are some examples of non-standard entries. For these, you just need to verify the memorial ID and update the citation. It is using same as equals no to link to a relative, but still has the find a grave URL reference. The computer is looking for the rest of the URL. Simply delete that. Another example is when it is incorrectly entered and needs the correct template, as shown below. It has extra information in the link, in this case the number 2012, which simply needs removed. It has an extra character in the link, possibly a typo. This particular error can be accompanied with an 848 suggestion. If the error is in the template, the info column is blank. And the example discussed here, which needs research because the memorial number is missing. Here is the suggestion report for Katherine Weber. It lists one suggestion, 571. The info column shows the reference it is referring to. Here is the public view of Katherine's profile. As you can see, the Find a Grave source has its URL, but with no memorial number linked with it. On the top right, hover over her WikiTree ID, and on the drop-down menu, click on Research. The next screen, Root Search, gives different sites to search. Since this is a Find a Grave source, let's start there. Find a Grave shows no results for these parameters. You can delete different facts and keep trying. If you have no success, try Family Search. For now, let's delete the first name. It now shows a memorial for Katharina Weber not Catherine. Click on her name. Once on her memorial page, scroll down until you see Source Citation. Click on the link and the source appears. Copy that. As a note, in some but not all browsers, the citation automatically highlights. Then you just copy it without needing to drag the cursor across the text. Return to Catherine's profile. Click on Edit. Paste the reference over the one from Ancestry. Add the WikiTree template with Find a Grave, the memorial number, and Same As equals Yes. Delete the first Find a Grave URL as it is no longer necessary. Return to the top of the profile page. Since there are two spellings of her first name, but we don't know which was her first name at birth, add Katharina to the other nicknames box. Click on Preview. Everything looks right, with the memorial number showing in the link. Go to the middle of the profile page and explain your changes. This is strongly recommended for all Wikitree users and is required for data doctors. For me, I identify myself as a data doctor, copy the suggestion number and name, and explain what I changed. Save your work. Return to the suggestions report, and on the far right, click on Status. On the next page, the Suggestion Status Report, make sure your Wikitree ID is showing. Of the five status options, choose one, in this case, corrected. Leave a comment from the comment tents or make one of your own. Click the Update Status button. The last screen shows the status history has recorded your changes. And you're done.